Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 video. Today I'm going to take an in-depth look at all the different and new creatures that have been revealed in the various game trailers and footage. I know I'm a little late on this one, but between moving to a new house and taking care of a three-month-old baby at the same time, I'm pretty lucky I'm getting any of these videos out, to tell you the truth. <laughs> but anyway, late is better than never, so I'll be uploading more Fallout 76 videos like this one on my channel as often as I can, and as long as there are topics to talk about. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to click that bell icon below so you'll get notified whenever I upload new stuff. Alright, let's get into it. Bethesda has said that there are around 63 creatures in Fallout 76, including all of the ones from the previous games. Of course, all may be a bit of an, of an exaggeration. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> but as of the making of this video, there are 20 confirmed creatures in Fallout 76, and only five of those are from previous games. I'll be going through and talking about each creature in the order they appeared in the footage, starting with the E3 trailer. The very first creature we saw in the trailer was the Grafton Monster. This is a creature from West Virginia folklore from the 1960s. It is said to prowl the woodlands around Grafton, West Virginia, and has been described as between 7 and 9 feet tall, a headless creature with pale, slick skin like that of an eel. It is also described as a quick-moving meat-eater. Now, when I first saw the footage, I thought it had huge stumps for hands and feet, but if you freeze the frame, you can actually see that it has giant fingernails that are tucked up behind its wrists when it walks. Sort of like it's walking on its knuckles, I guess. I imagine fighting one of these is similar to fighting a super mutant behemoth. Similar size, anyway, and the arms are kind of like clubs. The next creature was this guy. We see it only for a couple seconds, and in this lighting it's difficult to make out what it is. However, I believe it's the Snallygaster, which can be seen in better detail in footage from the E3 showcase. The Snallygaster is also from folklore, but not of West Virginia. No, the Snallygaster actually originates in Central Maryland and the Washington DC metro area, and particularly Frederick County, Maryland. Its name originates from the German Schnellergeist, which means quick ghost. It was named by German immigrants in the 1730s. However, the description of the traditional Snallygaster doesn't really match the one we see in Fallout 76. The folktale is described as a half-reptile, half-bird, with a metallic beak lined with razor-sharp teeth, and occasionally with octopus-like tentacles. It swoops down silently from the sky to pick up and carry off its victims. The creature we see in the trailer doesn't have wings at all, nor does it have a beak or tentacles. However, it does have a lot of teeth, <laughs> and one enormously long tongue that I guess could be mistaken for a tentacle. The image from the folktale actually has the tentacles coming out of the mouth like tongues. And if you look closely, this creature actually has six legs. And as it's moving rapidly towards you, it might look like it's using tentacles to walk, maybe? I guess it's all a matter of perspective. In any case, this thing looks like a pain to fight. What with its crazy speed and lashing tongue attack, I can just see myself frantically backpedaling, screaming no, 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 while I unload a full magazine of combat shotgun shells in its direction. <laughs> yeah, you guys know me, right? <laughs> anyway, moving on. The next creature we were introduced to was the giant mutated bat-like creature called the Scorch Beast. Now what's really funny is that when the first teaser trailer came out, the one that's inside the vault only, I was going to do a speculation video about what new creatures the game might have in it based on what animals live in West Virginia. However, I never did because I just didn't have the time. Now I wish I had because one of those creatures I'd predicted was a giant bat that would attack from the air like Skyrim's dragons. And lo and behold, here they are. <laughs> Weird. So, the Scorched Beasts, as far as I can tell, is not from any folklore and are in fact just giant mutated bats. Several kinds of bats are actually very common in West Virginia, especially the little brown bat and the big brown bat. They live and hibernate in the many caves that dot the West Virginia hill hills. 
Now there is actually a story revolving around the Scorched Beasts in the game. The main story, actually. Apparently the Scorched Beasts emerged from fissures in the ground. Probably they were hiding in the caves when the bombs went off and they got irradiated and mutated and grew to a huge size and grew an extra set of limbs as well. And now they're coming out and basically raining terror on the wasteland. I have a feeling that they are the reason that there are no other humans in the West Virginia area. Like, likely maybe the Scorched Beast killed them all or chased them away. And the main quest will have us discovering this via holotapes and notes and whatnot. And maybe the people had been working on a plan to get rid of the Scorched Beast, but for some reason weren't able to implement it. And it's our job to pick up where they left off. This is just my speculation, of course. However, we do know that it involves the nuclear missiles, which we have to use to seal the fissures. This fact has been confirmed by Bethesda. In any case, I like these Scorched Beasts. I think they're pretty cool looking, and it will be fun to have a large airborne enemy again, like in Skyrim. Now, the next creature we were introduced to is not technically a creature. It's a plant, actually. These things are described as intelligent carnivorous plants. They grow in the cranberry bog region of the map. I have no idea how they capture their prey, whether they're just sticky like some real life carnivorous plants, or can they actually move and have some sort of an attack? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But I advise caution when entering the cranberry bog. <laughs> Next up we've got these little robot things called liberators. We know pretty much nothing about these things, where they come from, what their purpose is, but it's obvious they're hostile. And when I was collecting this footage for the video, I noticed that they have Chinese writing on them. I don't know how to read Chinese, and even if I did, it might be too hard to make out what it says. If any of you guys can read that, let me know. So it seems safe to assume that these robots are from China and probably had a purpose in the war. Maybe they are still running on old programming, kind of like Mr. Gutsy's. As a side note, something else I noticed, this shot was taken in the very same place as this one, although facing the opposite direction. I wonder if this is a quest location. The next creature on the list is the giant frog. Now this was another creature that I predicted might be in the game, so I was kind of thrilled when I saw it in the trailer. We don't really get to see much of it, just a quick shot of it hopping away. But there is a shot of some concept art for it in the Noclip documentary. It looks like it might have multiple tongues. Imagine the reach of that thing's attacks. Not to mention it's long distance hopping. This one might be difficult to get away from. Another giant mutated animal that we see only a glimpse of is the Rad Wasp. This thing looks nasty. Not only will we have to contend with the wasp itself, but also its swarm, which seems to come from the hives it has on its back. I imagine it will be similar to fighting a Cazador and a swarm of those stinging ants from the Nuka World DLC at the same time. Yeah, I think I'd rather avoid this one, thank you very much. <laughs> Now the next creature I really have no idea about is this hunched over humanoid sort of thing with a robe and hood. Looks like it might live in or near mines. I don't know. Seems to be breathing through some sort of mask. Hard to tell if this is an animal or a mutated human ghoul-like creature. It does have human-like hands. I imagine it's probably hostile, like pretty much everything in Fallout, but I couldn't guess what, it, what kind of attack it has other than claws. I couldn't even find anything like this in West Virginia folklore. This one is pretty much a, a mystery to me. Uh, if you guys have any clues, let me know. Next up, we've got this creepy looking thing. It seems to be similar to a ghoul, but more reminiscent of something you see in The Witcher, right? It has much longer legs and arms than a ghoul. And at first, it doesn't seem to be rotting like ghouls do, although it doesn't appear to have any flesh between the bones in its arms. Weird. This thing's got some speed, too, and runs on all fours. Seems like we're getting a lot of crazy fast creatures in this game. Next up, we've got the Mothman. And we get only one quick glimpse of it. Now, Mothman is one of the most well-known creatures of West Virginia folklore, frequently sighted in the Point Pleasant area in the 1960s, described as a man-like creature with 10-foot wings. Now this picture is a little too dark to tell what he looks like, so I brightened the image a bit so we can kind of make out as many bug-like legs and antenna. 
So this one looks like it's more literally a giant moth and not man-like in any way. Bethesda has said that he'll have stages of behavior, where at the beginning of the game he'll be stalking you and you'll just see creepy little eyes watching you in the dark. What he does after that is anyone's guess. I'll be curious to see if he can fly, although I imagine he does if he's a moth. Next up, we've got Super Mutants. I know, these aren't new, but I thought I'd mention them anyway, since from the start people were wondering if Super Mutants would be in the game at all. And here they are, so Super Mutants confirmed. <laughs> now I've also seen a lot of people cry lore-breaking, since they think that Super Mutants couldn't be in the East Coast this early in the timeline, but that's not entirely true. The East Coast Super Mutants, especially the ones in the DC area, were created in Vault 87 by exposing the vault's inhabitants to a modified strain of the FEV virus. And they began these experiments immediately after the bombs fell, so there were already super mutants this early in the timeline. These mutants are obsessed with creating more of their kind and send out search parties to find humans to bring back to Vault 87 so they can turn them into more mutants with what's left of the FEV. It is possible that these mutants from Vault 87 could have traveled to West Virginia in their search for more humans. West Virginia, after all, is only about a week from Washington, D.C. if you walk. So it's not unfeasible. If you're curious to know more about this theory, I highly suggest watching Lone Vault Wanderer's video he did on this subject. He goes much more in depth about it than I want to do here. You should just go check out his channel anyway. He's a great guy and he does all kinds of Fallout related content. I'll leave a link to his video in the description below. Up next we've got the Mega Sloth. It's basically a giant three-toed sloth. <laughs> I have no idea why these are in the game, since sloths of any kind have never lived in West Virginia, and are in fact native to Central and South America. But there you go. <laughs> Hopefully they explain their origins in the game. This guy's got huge claws on his front feet, and even though he's kind of slow, he's also kind of fast <laughs> for a sloth. Looks like he can keep you on your toes anyway. He's got a bunch of glowing mushrooms growing out of his back, and when he shakes himself, there seems to be some kind of mist coming off him, probably mushroom spores, which makes me think this might be a secondary attack of his, like maybe these spores deal radiation damage or something. He's kind of cute though, isn't he? <laughs> Now this creature here is a total mystery. I have no idea what this is. It looks kind of mole-like, but it also looks like it's wearing some kind of clothing or armor and wielding a kind of weapon that fits over its arm and has two blades. I don't know if this thing is humanoid or what. It seems to walk on two legs, but it's got what looks like a big fat tail. What do you guys think this is? One of the more featured creatures of Fallout 76 is the Scorched Ghoul. Now, Bethesda has described these ghouls as semi-intelligent, like their minds aren't completely destroyed by radiation yet, but they are more far gone than regular talking ghouls. Scorched Ghouls wear clothes and can wield both melee weapons and guns. You can see one here holding a pitchfork, and this one's got an axe. Bethesda has said that these ghouls will take the place of raiders in Fallout 76, since they wanted all humans to be real people and didn't want players to have to wonder if a group of raiders were real people or AI. So that's why they made these ghouls more human-like. And of course, we'll also be getting the regular feral ghouls as well. What's a Fallout game without death claws? Not a Fallout game at all, I think. So here's some death claws. <laughs> Actually, I think it's funny that people got all up in arms about super mutants breaking lore by being in Fallout 76, but I have yet to see anyone get upset about death claws being there. Death claws were created before the war to supplement troops in battle, but the death claws we know and love were refined by the Master in 2161, the same guy who created the West Coast super mutants. He used the FEV on Death Claws too to make them bigger and more powerful. However, as of 2161, Death Claws were still living only in California and were very rare and almost mythical even there. Unless I'm completely missing something, I find it hard to believe there's any chance they could be in West Virginia in 2102. But maybe there's another explanation for it because, like I said, it's not Fallout without Death Claws. What do you guys think about this? 
Now this creature is another one from West Virginia folklore, and although it hasn't been confirmed to be in the game, there is a good chance it will be, since we did get a glimpse of some concept art for it. The Flatwoods Monster is a creature from West Virginia folklore in the 1950s, believed to be an extraterrestrial by eyewitnesses. Since Fallout has featured aliens before, this is right up their alley, so there's a good chance it will be in the game, but likely not as a frequent encounter. There will probably be some sort of alien ship encounter where you meet one or more of these guys, like in previous Fallout games. One of the creepiest of the new creatures is the Vile Tick. Now ticks in real life are straight from hell, so I can imagine a tick the size of a dog is from the very bottom of hell. Look at that thing jump at that mongrel dog. Someone get me an industrial sized can of Raid on the double. Oh yeah, mongrel dogs confirmed. <laughs> and mole rats too. Not that anyone cares though. <laughs> so that's it everyone. Those are all the new and old creatures so far confirmed to be in Fallout 76. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you've heard more about any of these creatures, something I didn't mention here, please let us know in the comments. Also, which one is your favorite? Which one creeps you out the most? I have to admit, I'm creeped out by most of them. But I'm most looking forward to the Scorch Beasts. Anyway guys, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Fallout 76 content if you haven't already. And be sure to follow me on Facebook or Twitter so you can keep up to date on what's going on with me and gaming in general. And if you would like to support my channel, you can become a patron of mine on Patreon. And I will of course leave the link for that down in the description. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Until then, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye.